Windows offers the ability to customize and personalize how you use your devices. From the ease of access center and picture passwords to roaming profiles and speech recognition. So what are the ease of access features in Windows 8.1? Let me share a few. To get started, swipe to the charms bar on the right hand side and click on settings. From here, you can change your PC settings. On the left hand menu, you will see the ease of access menu. Once you click that, you can see all the ease of access controls, which include narrator, magnifier, high contrast, on-screen keyboard options, mouse options, and other options. Magnifier, by default, is off. You can turn it on by either swiping it to on or by pressing the Windows key and plus sign. Each time you press the Windows key and the plus sign, it's going to zoom in at a configurable increment. To zoom out, you can press the Windows key and minus sign. For someone who needs a high contrast view, Magnifier allows you to invert the colors. You can also set your device so that it automatically starts the magnifier when you start Windows. If you would like magnifier to follow the keyboard and cursor while zoomed in, turn on tracking. For example, if zoomed in to the left-hand side of the start screen and you start typing a search term, the search bar would normally appear outside of the field of view. However, with tracking turned on, the magnified view will automatically move to where you are inserting text. High contrast. For people with low vision, they oftentimes need high contrasting colors for easier legibility. Sometimes seeing black or gray text on a white background is difficult or hard on the eyes. So you can choose from the four preset themes here. And by doing so, when you get to your start screen, you can see how it was simplified. You can also customize individual colors within each theme. On-screen keyboard. The on-screen keyboard is a floating keyboard that you can move around the screen. If you bring up Notepad, you can type using the cursor, or by selecting the Options menu, you can select from other input options. For example, the Scan Through Keys option allows you to use various input devices to select specific keys by scanning through rows and then keys to make a selection. The on-screen keyboard can be resized and remains on top as you navigate Windows. If we go back to the on-screen keyboard menu, you can see there are sticky keys, toggle keys, and filter keys. Mouse options. As for mouse options, it's easy to change the pointer size as well as the color so that it can turn black over white or white over black. With mouse keys, you can use the number pad keys to control your mouse. Additional options for mouse keys include the ability to use the control key to move the mouse faster or to override the number lock key, ensuring the number pad will always behave as your mouse. There are also other ease of access options available. For example, you can turn off the animations so when you click on a tile, it doesn't animate. You can also turn off the background image on the start screen, making it less distracting. Notifications that appear in the top right corner, such as email notifications, can stay on screen longer by setting the duration. You can also change the thickness of your cursor. And the touch feedback option makes it possible to follow along during a presentation when using touch by displaying a dot where the screen is being touched. Finally, there is the narrator, which is our built-in screen reader. Narrator has a number of options, when you turn it on, you can also have it start automatically, like the magnifier. You can choose the speed and pitch of the voice. You can also choose the types of things you'd like it to read to you, as well as what it highlights when it's reading, such as the cursor. Narrator can also be turned on by pressing the Windows key and Enter. With Narrator, start by menu. using the arrow Mail. keys and pressing Enter, People. you can navigate to what you want. Skype. Or you can use Touch when using a tablet device Skype. And narrator PC. will read PC out what's settings. underneath your finger, and you can double tap to enter. If you want to turn narrator off, you can press Windows key Enter.